what's going on and welcome back to cyberpunk 2077 last episode was a chunky boy it was like an hour 30 hour 40 long hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you had some good popcorn and just chilled and relaxed and enjoyed it we're gonna be moving on to another episode today and remember i am live streaming so i will let you know when we stop the marathon because obviously i'm recording this on the marathon which means you get to see twitch chat so i will respond to some chat messages throughout the recording so you can understand why so we are going to talk to brigitte we're still kind of in this world that kind of reminds me of i forgot what game it was where you kind of like kill loads of red guys with like your blades and your throw bottles and all that kind of stuff i forgot what it was called and it reminds me of this world but anyway let's talk to bridget and see it looks like i'm the world of Tron. Oh, oh boy. Few have gone through to the other side. Oh God. And none have yet returned. She will be the first. What is going on? So, actually. You've got no idea what's beyond that thing. But we will know soon. And these shapes I'm seeing. Wild, unfettered AI. Searching for a passage. I held up my end of ordeal. Your turn. Before you pass through that wall, I want Johnny's psyche removed. We will not pass through. You will take the code to the other side. Fuck. Might have guessed. It's like the bloody... Never had any intention of the helping wall me. on Game Did of you? Thrones. It does not matter anymore. You will bring all to its end. Don't got much for options, do I? Ali. How do I get to the other side? Regine. Talk to Alt. Alt. So this is where she's trapped after she died. Johnny. You cannot remain here. Alt Cunningham. Alt. What's going on? Let me handle this. Johnny. Came through the black wall to meet me. That mean we're good? Things are chill between us? I have recognized your engram code, but I do not know why you are here. To give you a chance to pay me back for getting you out of Arasaka Tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner Night City's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save his life. Brigitte, what did she want from you in exchange for Johnny? Did I guarantee her and her clan's safety beyond the Black Wall? And why'd they want to go out there? The corporation-controlled net is now nearly as unstable as it was before the Black Wall's creation. The Voodoo Boys wish to use this to their advantage, to fight on our side when the time comes. Your side meaning that of free AIs? That even possible? If they prepare appropriately. What did you do with Brigitte? She's still alive? Yes, but she is not needed at the moment. What do you want? To save my life? What's it gonna cost? Netwatch propaganda has been effective. Do you see me as a demon who requires a pact signed in blood? Listen, I'm just trying to survive. I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so, I would need access to more advanced technology. 
Interesting. Brigitte claimed she alone could help me. The voodoo boy has deceived you. Why am I not surprised? Fine, mm -hmm. so how about Makoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Makoshi, it would cease to exist. Good, we can work with that. We'll get you inside Makoshi and you'll help V, deal? Best runner Night City's ever seen can't bust into Mikoshi on her own? I am a well-known threat there. They have a layer of black ice with my name on it. Literally. Kinda like a custom-made prison jumpsuit. I refuse to be caged in there ever again. What can you do for me, exactly? Everyone I've met so far is set up too far gone. By everyone, you mean Hellman? Saburo's personal ass munch? With the Soul Killer resident inside Mikoshi, I will create a construct of you, then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. I did not grant the program its name, but Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. <laughs> Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into his body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Right, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. We'll crack a window, slip you into Makoshi. Johnny, uh, embellishes, in case you hadn't noticed. You don't trust him, which is fine. But you have my word, we'll slip you inside Makoshi while keeping you out of harm's way. I believe this human factor and I have things in common. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Mikoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. How will I contact you once I'm ready? This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Voodoo boys, what about them? They shall let you pass unharmed. Those were our terms. Am I still in the- oh, yep. <laughs> So you managed to survive. And you managed to double cross me. No thanks to you, I'm sure. You must not take any of this personally. We seek Silverhand's construct. You are unlucky. Have accident. Get involved. So it's okay to make me the fool. That how you do biz? Maybe I ought to give all to heads up. You dare now to lecture me? No. Waste of time, waste of breath. Thank fuck my biz with you is done. I want nothing to do with you. So get out. <laughs> Be at my pleasure. Be my pleasure. You voodoo boys are nothing but scheming sons of guns. Where am I going? I keep forgetting that all of this is underneath the chapel of that church. Finally get out of here. Maybe I can go and see Panam. PP. Pee -pee. Oh, look where it is. Hello. Did you hear about Brigitte's ask from Alt? Or was that memo way above your pay grade? Like the biochip was. Oh, you tried to provoke me. Is this wise, you think? Bingo. How am I doing so far? Hmm. Gotta be pretty disappointed. With what? That you can't zero me after <laughs> all. It is out of my hands. Did you hear about Brigitte's ask from all? Get out of there. Uh-oh. 
Oh, it's malfunctioned again. Fuck. Oh. I love how that girl still stood in the same position with a drone. Of course, it's the damned ship. My silver handosis is clearly incubating. <laughs> that appointed finger I hear in your voice? Fuck. That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flatlining while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah, blah. Smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Uh, might be right. We're bickering like a couple of geezers on a park bench. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. You can be a charming guy. You just make the effort, charisma flows. Then I remember that nuke you detonated downtown without a second thought and no hint of later remorse. It was Mikoshi I was after. Wanted to destroy it. Gave Sokka ample time to clear the building. You knew countless people would die. Don't kid yourself. Take lives aplenty yourself. See scale as a problem? No, the maniac in my head's the problem. Mm. Huh. Maniac in the head of a hypocrite. <laughs> Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, what was it like... when you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? <laughs> Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, <laughs> like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember cold, black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? Makoshi. Why'd Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Uh -huh. People can be bought, brainwashed, but it's only in Makoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart, reprogram it. They've amassed quite a collection. Scary talented runners, soul killed, packed away, probably using them now, probably controlling them. So... Ruling hearts and minds. That's what it's about. The usual. Corps have always tried to shackle people one way or another. Saburo's ambition is greater. He's out to control humanity. Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain Corps wreak around the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Mm -hmm. Know why? They strip you of your right to die. No different than being kept alive on a respirator. That ain't the worst bit. Worst things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what our sock is doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. All good. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Let's do. Well, this story is getting insane. And 
it's a fantastic story so far. Like, it's really good. Really bloody good. Right, so we need to figure out what we want to do next. Because obviously we just come across the Voodoo Boys. We've just come across Bridget. We've just gone into... V? Can you hear me? Um... Uh, loud and clear. Is that... Whoever you are? Good. It worked. My name is Somi. Just call me Songbird, though. I know who you are. Know your situation, your problem. And I can save your life. Uh... All right, Songbird. Got my full attention. Glad to hear that. You must have questions, and I'll answer them in due course, shortly. But first, I need you to get to that swollen appendix of Night City called Dogtown. Dogtown? No man's zone where you shoot first, ask questions later? That Dogtown? What? The chance to live to a ripe old age not reason enough to go? Fine. No clue when I'm stepping into, but no risk, no reward. Thank you. I appreciate this, truly. Dogtown's main gate. Be there as soon as you can. I'll make contact again then. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is one elaborate haze. Isn't Dogtown More the expansion? Lifeline. I'm pretty sure Dogtown's the expansion, isn't it? Haven't we got more, uh... Oh, yeah, we got to go meet Takamura. I don't want to go into Dogtown just yet. That's the Phantom Liberty stuff. I want to do the main story within here first. But Somi, it's called Songbird. Interesting. All right, well, let's set that as the active mission, which is to go with Takamura. Have we got level up we can do? I do want to bring up my reflexes still a bit more because... And I want to spend it on you... So I can grab this one next time where we can kind of dash towards our enemies with our blades. We have 44,000 as well. And have we got like, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff we could sell. So let's head to a store and start selling on some stuff. All right. So, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Double barrel shotgun. Don't need that. Precision rifle. Isn't that what we're using now? Or are we using this one? No, we're using this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a tier three though. The attack speed's lower, but the damage is higher. Reload speed's higher. Effective range is higher. I feel like it's more of a, that's a tech precision rifle. This is a power precision rifle. Widowmaker, 150% headshot damage multiplier. It feels like this is more of a right at the uh, single shot rifle. We could try it. I don't want that one that's lower. Get rid of the double barrel shotgun. Can I, there's no way I can equip my pistol so I can compare this with pistol. Cause that's the one I'm using, right? 4.91 attack speed, five damage, 19, five, 50. Yeah, we're getting rid of you, get rid of you. Okay, oh boy, one handed club, electric batter alpha, one handed club tier three, makes the weapon non-lethal. 20% damage outside of combat. Isn't that what we picked up off that bed? That's what we picked up off the bed after Miranda, with Miranda, isn't it? We've got a hammer as well, that's Sasquatch's hammer. I don't think I'm going to use it, but I'll store it. And just so many different types of claws. Got some hot pants. And I've actually got some boots now. What is that? A virtual jumpsuit. I can become a ninja. I can literally become a ninja. Is it going to be an outfit? I'm a ninja. I can literally... <laughs> can I un unequip this? How, how do I... Uh, I don't want this. Unequip. There we go. That's how you do it. Still got the same jacket. Got some boots now, at least. Not some crappy-ass trainers. And no hats. Was this worth it? And it was the use of smart targets and smart weapons. I think I'm going to switch this. And I'm going to put that on. But I need to go to a Ripper Dock for that. I think we might need to go to a, a Ripper Dock. We've got 60,000 now. And I don't think my... The car I wanted is available. I thought that was Johnny. 70 years later. Uh, right, so let's look in our journal. So we can't do any more leveling up still. Can't do any more of them. I'll fly away. Talk to Mitch. We could go and go to these. Let's go and talk to Mitch. It's going to be a bit of a drive, of course. But also, let's have a look at the map and see if there is a vehicle contracts. Are there? Are there races? Vendor auto fixer. That's what we need, isn't it? Auto fixer. There's one right there. Let's go down here because I want to see when it's right on the corner. It's up there. Never mind. Back up, here we go. Check for some cars. What the shit? What is it? Oh, it is. What was the car I wanted? 
damage this. Yeah, we, don't, we can't get it yet. We need more street cred. We need more street cred. It was, it was not the P126. Was not the P126. I'm pretty sure that's something similar to it, isn't it? Whoa. All right. Well, we're heading up north for what, like, five kilometers to get up there. There's going to be a bit of a ride. Let's go. All right. So we're rolling up to these now. I think, is this where they're doing the... Oh, yeah, they're doing it down here. All right. Where are you? Covering fire! What is going on here? What the f What's going on? Fire, fire. Who, are th him Who are these guys? That Miltech. I would help, but apparently I can't draw my weapons. So I'm just going to go over here and talk to Mitch while you guys do whatever you got to do and debate over whatever you're debating over. Mitch, how's the funeral? Hey, V, come here. Hey, Mitch, you doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. How's the view? So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Mm-hmm. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. His name was Jackie. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay, I'll help. Come on, then. Okay, behind the wheel, right? Yeah, yeah. And? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? I can tell you're a city boy. <laughs> you want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Cover each other! Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. I can't take this seriously. That rig. Now she belongs to me. My old girl's right next to it. This is nice fun. wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions. You hop in the other. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Let's go. Is this his right here? Weaponized Mitch, vehicle. You hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. I'll just sort of cover away from that woman. Ah, uh, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Of course you're here. Not a fan of funerals. <laughs> yeah. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip. Or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, I hope this place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little boy scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's a scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. We're heading for the collapsed bridge. Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost 
I kind of like this vehicle, though. Okay, copy. And it handles well. Mitch, what the hell are we? I thought we were about to rob a train or something. Oh god, is that his body? Holy shit, Mitch! What the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? <laughs> no, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel. Douse the car. Then light it, let him fly off the edge. What? Mitch, you were fucking gonked. Yeah, yeah, quit complaining. Grab me that can, will you? So that's gonna light the whole car on fire and throw him off the edge of here? He's gonna make me drive and jump out, isn't he? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Uh, I see the driver is already behind the wheel. <laughs> no point wasting time. Another hour or two, and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Are you absolutely sure this is a good idea? No, V. No, I am not. But it was my best friend's dying wish. So I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen. With or without you. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. Light the rug? Alright. Time to run! She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind oh. to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Just throwing him off the cliff. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, Jeez. How about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, speaking of, where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. I'm really you enjoying know, I have space. the slightest idea. Never asked him. Uh, he is Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> uh, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch, why me? Why'd you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go is on. It, it's yours. That's Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. Listen, I'm going to sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. Thanks. Commodore, thank you so much for the tier one for nine bloody months. So we can either go meet 
Takamura. Or we could look at spells. And that's the quick ping Cinnamon. Sit and wait for Bill Jablonski. You're right about one thing. This job from Wakako stinks to high heaven. Besides, you're above doing plain old hit jobs. Probably no harm in talking to Bill Jablonski and seeing what his deal is. If I were you, I'll take a hard pass. No matter what, we've got to go back into town anyway. So we might as well head back there and see what this is about. And then maybe we're going to see Tak Takamura. What? I repeat, oh my god, I ran her over straight in front of a cop. I did not mean to do that. Okay, I need to hide. I don't want cops around me. Let's just hide behind here. I think we'll be fine. This is the destination as well, so... Okay. Code zero. Nice. I repeat, code zero is Easy peasy. Oh. Oh, this guy's calling me again. V, got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot. And our client wants it back. That's where you come in. I are not the ready. More info hmm. attached. Oh, Captain Reyes, Giga type, search and recover. We've got to wait here. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Sometime later. Is this him? Huh? Bill Jablonski. Mm. Did Okada give you the details? My info is I'm supposed to off someone. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. I'm driving. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. <laughs> Damn. Plan sounds half-baked. Honestly, don't like it. What's that supposed to mean? First up, don't execute in public. Don't need an audience. Second, they could get away. You don't get it. I spent my life savings on this. That's them. Step on it. Wait, they're in a police car. Stay on him. Don't let him get away. Are we hitting a police cop? Are we off in a cop or what? This is a half-baked plan. Watch out. All right, what's with all these scripted vehicles? I can see a lot of cars just sitting there waiting for me. As soon as I get close, they drive out. <laughs> Is that a roadblock? Fuck. We're about to get so many cops on us right now. Look how many's in the area. You want us to follow him, right? And not like ram him or something. Let's 
Stay close. I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the guy, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right! Let's just all shoot holes in each other! For crying out loud? Fuck! We can't leave him here! Media vultures will be here any minute! The fuck are you doing? Stop! What's going on? NCPD! Stay where you are! And get that goddamn semi out of here! We take him with us. What? Olga, we've got no a situation. No thanks. Just Somebody be on my just way tried now. to drop our star. Please? That psycho's out hiring professionals. I need you. It was only a matter of time. Really? Because he's a fucking nut. Gregor! That's why. Busted an attempt. What do you need to my guy? But why so badly? Yeah. One cash. <laughs> Bill Jablonski. What's your name? No priors. But run a deep sweep just to be sure. Josh Stevenson. Thanks. I owe but you. you. Probably knew that no already. patrol car. And stay off the you frequencies too. Associate. Can't have this coming back. What was his name? Bill Jablonski. Yes. Ring a bell. What a fucking mess. Sadly, yes. Don't you drop it, dickhead. Should have listened. Should have fucking listened. We're clear to go. Boys from the precinct will mop up here. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take him. Out of the question. He's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give him a job. So what happened? <sighs> Christ on his I'm trying to figure that out. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some power. Whatever it is, it's a, it's a kerfuffle. You gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time, Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object, strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. Neither do I. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right. I'll go with you. Uh, move it. We're running late. Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Uh... Fuck. The hell possessed me to get in. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before. <clears throat> Frozen in time. God. Give me strength to never forget. I still don't get why you're telling me this. I want you to understand what I am about to do. Spill already. What Just do you tell me! Now? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. Wait, what? Sure. Just till the end of the day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong, I'm out. No one will force I'll you to stay. I'll just go for the ride and see what the hell is going on, but I'm so We're confused. Almost at Gloria LMR's. Give me a moment, I need to prepare. Prepare for what?
I feel like I'm a prisoner. I've just accepted something from a guy in a jumpsuit who's running with two cops who I think are corrupt. And I don't, actually, I don't think she's a cop. I don't, I don't know if she's a news reporter or something. And now we're heading to someone's place. I'm this guy's lapdog for the next 12 hours. And I don't know what's going on. Apparently, I was meant to murder this guy. Now I'm sat next to him, rubbing shoulders. I'll see praise. Where are we going? Vasquez, keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. Mm. Right. Where are you? Right, who is she? Looks like she's a PR or something. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleka. Uh, really wouldn't mind what's going on? Wouldn't mind knowing what's going on here. Anyone? You haven't told him anything? <laughs> we just met. There wasn't time. You really are insane. Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Fuck off! Jesus. Who's this? Hello. Please sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? Uh, water will be fine. A glass of water. Please. Can someone tell me what's going on? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. So you're the sister of that guy, and then you killed... What? This is fucked. Uh... Why are we here? And who are we waiting for? Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? No. Can't say I do. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no. I never agreed to anything like this. I'm all ears. Oh, why did I say that? Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. I still don't get what's happening here, Zuleika. When they put Joshua away, the scream sheets devoted space to him on page five. But when they discovered he'd found God, suddenly he was on primetime TV. What's wrong with using a platform to tell people about my faith and God's grace? 
Huh? We are way past that, Joshua. Instead of being executed in prison, he agreed to let Braindown Studio Vultures record his agony as he's being crucified. Wait. This is insanity, pure and simple. It's the one thing worse than insanity. Blasphemy. Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence. In a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you. V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? Uh, My name is V. Hello. Go. You are not welcome here. Honestly. Mrs. L. Amar. Be a pleasure. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That Why is the cops allowing this to happen? Never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you! Okay. We should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay. Just go. You took my Reuben from me. Okay. See you later. My child. My son. Flipping weirdos. Let's go back to the car. Hello. <laughs> what is going on? I'm so confused. This thing got hydraulics. Welcome back. Just wish I could have talked to Gloria and you know, explained everything. If somehow I thought I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Where are we eating? Uh, Pie Z. They do a great cup of coffee. Got a killer cheesecake at Pie Z. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. How about vegan avocado ice cream then? How well do you know the city? You can't know Night City well, ever. It's always changing, always surprising. Part of its charm. Hmm, <laughs> true that. Oh, well, I guess we're going for cheesecake. We're just gonna ride this out. Mom. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. I'm going for lunch. Wait up a sec, I wanna talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? Um, honestly, 
can't rightly make my mind up about him. Let me help you out. Stevenson's a very disturbed man whose obsession with guilt is driving him to the brink of insanity. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. I think he might be more self-possessed than you think. Look, you're no shrink and neither am I. We're both just out to get paid. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Mm-hmm. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. Grown curious how this will all end. In pain and profit, that's how. One's sacred, the other's insane. Though who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before. Eyes. Strong guy cheesecake. Bingo table. Jesus shit. Eight for me. Don't even think about making a break for it. Your ass is going down. Nobody's paying you to open your mouth, Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so many men. Vasquez. He blew inside and out. Might as well have been born with a badge. Must have some solid dirt on him then. And the studio majority stakeholder's a corp. Unlike you, Vasquez would clearly mind having enemies in high places. Can we just point out that Joshua is eating a steak with a butter knife? And he's not even chewing it, he's just breathing it. I'm talking to you. Can we please talk about something besides faith? Josh, you're a knight. Topic of choice? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I spent years not talking to anyone. Okay, nothing hard. What do you do to relax? Uh, <laughs> well, let's see. I, I, I read scripture. I watch brain dances and movies. Did you hear about the remake of Badlands Raid? And casinos, five poles, top end brain. Never saw either. Brain dances aren't my thing. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Where's my food? Joshua and I are talking. So fuck off, will you? Excuse me? Realize the stakes here. Tomorrow, this guy's gonna create his masterwork. He needs to focus, keep his head in the game, and put in the performance of his lifetime. There aren't any do-overs. Josh? I'd like to rest now. Perfect timing. Your job's done here. You can go. And don't worry, you'll get your fucking money. Goodbye, V. Huh? Props. Really well played, Dad. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Sweet, 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 clean speed. Cause life is too short to be slow. Your cynicism is starting to wear thin on me. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? 
Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on. Where the fuck are we? <laughs> like, <laughs> Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? <laughs> Seem to have lost him. <laughs> well, this I whole episode's confused the hell out of that me. Guy. He's the real Rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nut job or Messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. Weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on. We got places to trash. Let's go. What the hell just happened? <laughs>